Alright, no intro. Sabine just died. Getting back to it. Episode 2 of Ahsoka. Let's go. Missing Imperial Grand Admiral. Ron. I'm kidding. We can have a little bit of an intro. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? It's Emmy Bomb here, and welcome back to another Ahsoka reaction video. This is episode 2. Two part two episode premiere. Shout out to Disney Plus. Shout out this show. Last episode was a absolute banger. We saw a lot. We saw Ahsoka again. Of course, the show's name is Ahsoka. We saw Hera. We saw Sabine. We saw Ezra via a what you call it a, a hologram. And we saw Lothal. As it was from Rebels, but in live action. I'm a, I'm a little sporadic and hype because, I, as I explained last time, I love Star Wars Rebels. Like, even I think some people, it took a while for them to get get on the wagon, it, to get on the, I don't want to say, it took them to get on the train, the hype train. Um, others never came around, they thought it was too kiddish or they just didn't like it. Um, I personally liked Rebels since episode 3, and when it, you know, got revealed that, oh, it's like, you know, really continued from the Clone Wars, I loved it even more. I just got really, really low-key low attached to it almost, uh, and when, when it ended, and it kind of, sort of, ended on a cliffhanger. I just couldn't wait for it to continue. And here we are. In the last episode, uh, it's Ahsoka. She found the map to, to Thrawn. And that, uh, they on the, the Maroon 5 song. I want the map that leads to you. The map that leads to you. She found that uh, Thrawn. If they find Thrawn, they'll find Ezra. And if they find Ezra, it's just lit. Because we got the gang back together. And they have to stop Thrawn too. But she went, she visited uh, Lothal to get to Sabine to see if she can unlock the map. There's low-key some beef, some turmoil between Ahsoka and Sabine. Because we learned that they used to train. Sabine was trying to train Sabine to be a Jedi. And she has Ezra's lightsaber. And she's living in Ezra's house right now. Or like, tower. Man, they had a ceremony last time. I didn't even mention this last time. They had a ceremony and like, oh, they were calling people like Commander and stuff and like really honoring them. And man, they were just a band of five rebels that banded together in in, in Rebel. It, it, it's so cool to see how far they came. But Sabine did figure it out, but she was attacked by these droids and then this Sith. And she had a little lightsaber fight, and then she got stabbed. She literally got stabbed pretty good. I, I'm a little nervous. I don't think they'll kill off Sabine this early, but I'm very, very scared that maybe they'll do something wild like that. And, like, I'm just, I'm just scared in general, and they have the map now, and it's just... Uh, <laughs> It, it's just crazy. So let's get into this episode. I can't. I can't wait anymore. But I, now I actually gotta get into it. Oh man, that was. Oh man, that is just. I rev. Sabine. Okay, so she lives. Did they get the map back? I'm guessing not. The droids. They took the map. Relax. I unlocked it. Oh. Galaxies, and then a pathway appeared between them. Where did the path in our galaxy begin? What planet? They took the map before I could decipher it. Did you keep a record of what you found? They destroyed it. The droids destroyed it. Woke up. Get some rest. Wait. You need my help. No. You've done enough. What is that? Like, uh, oh, you've done enough? Like, you've already, like, helped? Or you've done enough? Like, you've already messed up too much? Because she did unlock the map, but she got it snatched. But, uh, that, that, I think that was a, a nice, you've done enough. Or a mix of both, because, like, she did unlock it, but she did lose it. I want to see Thrawn. I want to see Thrawn in live action. I want to see as I, mean, I I know we saw the hologram. I want to see. I 
I was hoping you were still here. Why would it be though? Malik! You sure you're up to this? Like me, this kind of droid is incredibly resilient. Take off an arm or leg and it just keeps coming. If you get the power levels right, you can recover the droid's memory. And find out where it came from. Mm. Very clever. So what happens if you get the power levels wrong? The head will explode. Explode? Calm your circuits and pull the plug before it gets to that. Perhaps we should perform this operation somewhere else. I say go for it. Because you're a hologram. <laughs> There's no time to relocate. <laughs> yes, you're not. <laughs> Encrypted. I need a minute. Oh. I'm not sure we have a minute. It's overheating. Switch it off. Not yet. Come on, man. We are out of time. I'm pulling the plug. Oh, wait. That was about to explode. This droid came here from Corellia. The New Republic shipyard? Morgan Elspeth had factories on Corellia. Her Imperial operation should have been dismantled after the rebellion. Anyone check on that? I'll meet you there. Let's get going. No, yeah. you need to recover. I'm fine. This place was not built by the Jedi. Whose work is it? An ancient people from a distant galaxy. Would you like to see it? I would. Ooh. That is our destination. While Grand Admiral Thrawn is banished. Oh man. Halfway to Peridia. Thrawn calls to me. Across time and space. What happens when you find Thrawn? For some, war. For others, a new beginning. And for us, power. Such as you've never dreamed. Corellia, assist Maroc with the final transport. Mm. Yes, Master. Oh man. Oh there's there's the logo ship. There's the so one droid. This is Min Weaver, regional supervisor. Fell. All Imperial assets were dissolved and redistributed, including those held by Morgan Elsbeth. All the same, we'd appreciate a look at her former facilities and operations. Well, I am quite busy at the moment. I could make this a more formal inspection if you'd like. That won't be necessary, General. Please, this way. <laughs> hey, Chopper! One of Morgan's materials yeah. used in about their loyalty? Not at all. The average worker doesn't care about the nuances of galactic politics. They have loyalty so long as they're paid. Interesting. It's like connecting with Sabine paid off. Until she lost the map. Yeah, at least she unlocked it. Oh. Which doesn't do us a lot of good if we don't have it. She got us here. I was wondering if you'd consider bringing her back on as your apprentice. Maybe we're both past that. <laughs> I think she could use some structure. She's not ready. What makes someone ready? You just know. So do they. I see you still have your lightsaber. Ezra's lightsaber. True, he constructed it, and by all accounts it served him well. Then he passed it on to you. You have since made your own modifications. So it is now your lightsaber. <laughs> For all the good it did me. Have you kept up with your training? Obviously not. Well, perhaps it is time to begin again. I don't think that's up to me. Really? Explain. I can't train if Ahsoka doesn't want to teach me. That is an excuse. And a poor one. Hey. <laughs> she quit on me. The past is the past. Move forward. You could have unlocked the map yourself. Would Ahsoka have come here? 
irrelevant. Oh. It's very relevant. Earl Sindula thought your insights would be valuable. And Lady Tano agreed. See? She doesn't want me back. She wasn't even thinking about me. Uh, you have never indicated that you wanted to come back. Forgot how annoying you are. <laughs> I never had the talent, the abilities. Not like Ezra. That much is true. Thanks. <coughs> I have known many Padawans over the centuries, and I can safely say your aptitude for the Force would fall short of them all. I won't waste any more of her time. The only time you are wasting is your own. Investors have first look at all unique hardware, its price point and distribution. Is that a hyperdrive core? Yes. New Republic Defense Fleet isn't building anything that big. What class of starship are they for? Uh, let's see. There it is. Classified. Classified. I'm a general. Nothing's classified to me. I cannot unseal the document without authorization. Well, then I'm authorizing it. I'm not sure you can. Want to bet? C1, can you come over here, please? <laughs> Perhaps you can help with the protocol. <laughs> what types of droids do you have in operation here? Standard protocol types. HK class? Assassin droid. <laughs> I should think not. I have seen such a droid. I catalog inventory on arriving transport. Oh, and snitching. Droid recently prevented me from completing this task. Oh, oh. The droid carried a high-level security clearance. Where is this droid now? I believe it is departing on that transport. I said stop that ship. That's an order. For the Empire! Oh. Fire. Oh, with uh, the Phantom. I call it the Mini Goose. Soka and the Eighth Brother. Ooh. At least I think that's his name. I think that's him. <laughs> Stand down and return to port immediately. Repeat, CTO five, return to port. Oh man! <laughs> oh. Yes, you did. I heard that. Oh, gotta get that tracker on. Ooh, man, just ditching his saber. Oh. Nice. I would throw a couple on there just for safety, but the good old Sabine armor. Oh man. Oh, she's cutting her hair. That was, that is gonna be after 
That one, the ending rebel scene is after all this. How can they still be loyal to the Empire? That is crazy. But... It's not loyalty. It's greed. I'm ready. Oh yeah, here it is. The scene, but in live action. This is the final rebel scene. is on to find Ezra and Thrawn. Take us out. Padawan. Oh. Okay, so Sabine might get more training under Ahsoka and actually be a Jedi. Of Ahsoka Tano and Corellia troubles you. It does. Her presence in the Force is elusive. And her determination is vivid. To kill her would be a shame. There are so few Jedi left. Sentimental. Truth. Yeah, man, I know I have probably no right to say this because I've been lacking on the Star Wars shows as of lately, but I cannot, I just, I cannot wait for more and a whole week is crazy, but I'm glad what we got when we got it, when we got it, I don't know, <laughs> we got what we got when we got it. Alright guys, that was episode 2 of Ahsoka, and it was another <gasps> banger. Sabine lived, thankfully, but we did not need that. We did not need Sabine dying that soon. We don't need Sabine dying in general, but especially episode two, <laughs> definitely not. Got a little more like insight of like how, like there was like really history between Ahsoka and Sabine. like. Uh, in like the years from the end of, of Rebels to like, well, I guess the prior to the final scene in the Rebels, uh, like the end, like the ending battle of Lothal, uh, to now, like uh, Sabine and and Ahsoka really gave it a try, a, a try, but both of them kind of like had you know like kind of just like turmoil there and like almost like a beef between them, but. You know, they gave you another shot, and I didn't really know that, like, that last scene in Rebels was gonna, like, be, like, after all this happened, but and we saw right there, like, and it was the last a, a couple minutes, like, then we saw the last scene of when Sabine goes up to the mural and turns around, and they did that pretty, pretty good. Um, only two things I noticed that were different, and I promise this is nitpicking, is um, Sabine turned around and like put her helmet on, and and, and I think Sabine, uh, uh, Ahsoka had like a staff of some sort. In fact, you know what? I can find that somewhere. Let's watch it. Right here. As for me, I used to think that Ezra was counting on me to protect Lothal. The planet and the people he cared for so much. But one day, I realized there was more to it. There was something else I was meant to do. Yeah, she was holding like a staff kind of thing. Ezra's out there somewhere. And yeah, she and puts on the helmet. Oh, honestly, though, pretty spot on. 
Like other than, other than those two, like like literally pre-spawn, but I know they, they wanted some extra dialogue. They wanted you know Sabine to, or Sabine, uh, Ahsoka to like mention the haircut, um, and like them to actually talk. And then she, she she put the mask on. They should be talking through the mask. Like, you know, and then they need the voice over that production stuff. And uh, honestly, just. Ahsoka, at this point, isn't rocking with a staff like that. It would make no sense for her to just grab a staff. So they would kind of just be kind of, I don't know, do she just grab a staff to do that? So I get it. I get it. So I like it. I like it a lot. But they found that old uh, shipyard that uh, you know was with Empire people. And they, you know, some action there. Good to see, uh, nice to see Hera. Piloting again with Chopper. We got Chopper. Oh man, that that is my the, I love Chopper. Chopper is my Disney Plus profile picture. Uh, Chop Chopper is hella funny. Uh, this new droid, a uh, um, something Yang. Uh, uh, he's pretty funny too, honestly. Star Wars does droids really well. They always have me weak. Also, you know, with with that, uh, it seems like. Ahsoka called Ahsoka called Sabine or Padawan. Wait, that's crazy to think. I didn't even know this was a thing. But like Sabine's her Padawan. Like, are we gonna get some like a side story like Ahsoka Jedi training Sabine while they look for Ezra and Thrawn in this map? I guess the map comes first. That that would be pretty cool, honestly. I wondered, you know, the droid called that. Lightsaber Sabine's now. I wonder which would, would that be her? Would Ezra take it back or give it to her? Or would it be hers now? Would he make a new one? That'd be his third lightsaber. But then what would Sabine's lightsaber thing? Could she get the dark saber somehow? Again, she'd have to beat it. Uh, she have she'd have to win it in combat from Mando, which would be interesting. But um, yeah, I don't know if she she'd do that if that happened. But then I thought. What if they pull this? What if at the end of this journey, this great journey to get to Ezra and Thrawn, what if they're already dead? And like, I would be so upset, but at the same time, that would hit so hard. It'd be like, dang. Like, they're all rushing, trying to get to Thrawn, trying to get to Ezra. Doesn't even matter. They're all day they, because they've been gone a while with no like contact whatsoever, and like no like reason to get out. There has to be some sort of reason for that. And they went together at the end. They were on the same ship. I want to see what happened there. Like, how are Ezra and Thrawn like right after that happened? Are they coexisting? Did they go up on their own? I want to see that. And what, what happened. I hope they kind of like. Maybe flash to that maybe. I don't know what's going to happen there though. It would be cool if like they did like a. Uh, they showed Ezra and Thrawn. And then like they switched perspectives. And then like. Once they showed Ahsoka and Sabine arrive. They showed them dead. And then they switched back and showed how they died. If they went that route. I'm not saying they are or should. But if they did. Um. That would be a cool way to do it. Though I love Ezra and like, you know, Thrawn is always a sick villain as well. And I think there's more potential with him there. So I, I don't want that to be the case. But if that is, that would be a way to go about that. That, that older, uh, I still don't know if they're all Inquisitors, if that's a Sith. But uh, the older, the ex-Jedi, um, like the old, older guy with the white beard, uh, yeah, he, he was like, it's a, it'd be a shame to kill him. I, 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 I don't know. I, is it maybe would he flip? Would he flip at the, uh, coming back to the Jedi? Um, if they even allow him, because I don't know that that seemed that didn't seem like something a Sith would say. Some a, a, a Sith would say. And I, I didn't expect this woman from Mandalorian season two that Ahsoka originally like got out of. Um, I think she had the Baskar staff. I didn't expect her to be, like, like a witch. And I didn't expect her to be low-key the main villain. Like, she's trying to get the Thrawn. But hey, we'll see where that goes. Looks like we have her. Um, the, the, the old ex-Jedi I just talked about. 
his Padawan, and what I think is the eighth brother from Rebels. He's there. Yeah, I think he has to be. His spinny lightsaber was back. He just didn't fly with it, but he used it as a boomerang. Uh, that was a cool action between him and uh, Soka. Nice lightsaber fight there. Um, yeah, another just solid episode. Glad Sabine's okay. Um, and good to see her, like, the haircut and lead up to the moment of the, the Rebels ending cutscene. Very cool. All very cool. Hera was kind of like the middleman between Sabine and Ahsoka. And, uh, you know, I, I couldn't get a, a good read on Ahsoka. Like, she was kind of like, she told her when she told Sabine, like, you did enough. Like, I didn't know if she was mad or, like, grateful, but... She said she lost the map, so he was kind of mad, I think. But, uh, yeah, they're just uh, some clashing personalities, it seems. But uh, hopefully it works out for them to find Ezra and bring him home. And I, I think the other goal is to kill Thrawn, or maybe at least capture him. Hopefully she can do that. Sabine becomes a Jedi, and who knows what that happened. What, what kind of story that brings in the future. I, I, I'm immediately thinking if these characters can survive the series, I'm immediately thinking Mando Season 4. We see them again. Imagine, um, I did watch Book of Oath, as I said, and Episode 6 of that featured Ahsoka, and you know, we saw Grogu and Luke and Mando, but at the end... Luke gave Grogu a choice. Take Yoda's lightsaber or take this chain Baskar armor that the Mandalorian gave you. If he chooses that, he will be a Mandalorian and not a Jedi. If he chooses the lightsaber, he'll be a Jedi and maybe never see Mando again. But he cannot be trained if he chooses the Mandalorian. But if Sabine shows up in Rebels, maybe that will show him that you can be both. If she's a lightsaber wielding Mandalorian person, and show Mando too that there's more to life than a Mandalorian. Because they told her, told him like he's no longer Mandalorian because he took off his mask, but he still mainly keeps it on. Sabine never keeps hers on, so technically she's been not a Mandalorian according to their strict rules. Oh, uh, very interesting stuff to see. Very interesting potential for the Star Wars universe and future shows. I I still have to see season th three of Mandalorian, so I. Don't believe that would like be anything in the past, but like this, like it went like spoil anything from Ahsoka. Um, I don't think I need to see it. I will watch that though very soon. I did reactions to episode uh, to Mando uh, season one and two already, uh, but I am already I need to do season three, and I have reactions recorded of Book of Boba Fett. Uh, I'll probably post those after Ahsoka is said and done with, since I'm already late on that. Um, maybe if I, like, find the time to do it, but I also have some other reactions to get up, like Bear Call Saul, and some other cooks as well. As long as also editing some videos for Ascent Sports, which are NFL record predictions and other sh stuff like that. The shameless self-promoting aside, I think that is going to do it for me. Uh, God, how did you guys like Ahsoka so far? I thought that was a great two episodes. I'm glad they uploaded two episodes because that was kind of like a two-parter kind of thing. Um, I'm just really excited for more and really excited for uh, to see where this goes and see more stuff from Rebels in this show. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like or dislike. Subscribe or don't subscribe. You know, it's always up to you. I'll see you guys in the next video with me. Good boy. I can feel them try to grab me by the ankles. I can hear them all start to say my name, oh. But it's not about the money or the fame, no. No, it's all about me just doing my thing, yo. Cause I'm loving what I do and I won't change, no. I feel blessed I could do this every day, yo.